Uh, okay, so in, in our last lesson, we talked about noisy neighbors and uh, we started with a letter of complaint. So here we read about Mrs. Yvonne, uh, Mrs. Yvonne Chapman's problems with her neighbors. She had very noisy neighbors. And we also learned a little bit about the, the phrasal verbs in this lesson. And we also matched the phrasal verbs to the meaning. So we learned how to use moved in, turn up, go on, go away, give up, take off, sign, uh, sorry, sit down, put up with, get on with, and go back. And we agreed that these phrasal verbs, you can divide them. Some of them are actually quite easy to, to guess what they mean, because these are literal phrasal verbs. The meaning is in the words themselves, like moved in, go away. You can guess the meanings, you can guess the meaning from the words. But on the other hand, you have uh, non-literal phrasal verbs. For example, like get on well with, or turn up. You know, these are a little harder to guess and these are non-literal. So you just need to get used to the meaning. And after that, you can use them normally. And then we did some listening. We listened to five problems which are related to the neighborhood. And then we put them in the, same, in the correct order and uh, we talked about them. And we also talked about fillers, but we didn't talk about them in detail. Uh, we just, uh, I just mentioned what they are. So let me tell you a little more about fillers. So the idea of fillers is that in spoken English, we often use words or phrases to give us time to think. All right. These fillers don't have any meaning. They're fillers, you know, they're additions that we use because we're trying to, we're trying to think. This is the idea. Wa alaikum salam, Rashid. So now I want you to take a look at uh, these uh, three sentences. And I want you to think which words in these three sentences are fillers. Remember, the fillers are the words that you can remove or the words that you can take out without affecting the meaning of the sentence. This is the definition of a filler. So, uh, Samiha, you can take number one here. Can you read it? And after that, tell us where are the fillers? Where are the extra words in this sentence? Um, well, I kind of get uh, on well with all my neighbor, neighbors. Okay. Here, one. Mm. So wh where, where's the filler? Which word is the filler? Well. Just well? No other fillers in the sentence? I can't. Uh huh. I can. Correct. What else? Any other fillers? Kind of is correct. Mm -hmm. I think there's one filler left. Can you find it? Where is it? I think you, if you look closely, you can find which word. Alaikum. Alaikum salam. I didn't understand. Er, what's er? This. This is uh, this is when you say, uh, for example, uh, I kind of get on well with all my neighbors uh, except one. Mm -hmm. This is a. Uh... Okay. So, is it a filler? Or is it, yeah. a, is it a word that has meaning? No, it doesn't have meaning. Exactly, it doesn't have meaning, it's a filler. Yes. You're exactly right. Mm, okay, Rashid, what about you? Can you check this second sentence? Uh, are there any words that you think are fillers that don't have a meaning and that we can remove if we want? Which, which extra words can you see here that are not necessary for the meaning of the sentence? And words which you think are just fillers, 
just used to give us time to think. So this is the definition of a filler. You know, it's a word or a phrase to give us time to think. The these fillers don't have any meaning. هذا تعريف الفيلر. يعني حشو هيك وخلاص. What do you think, Rashid? Number two. They are uh, got. Yeah, what you think, Rashid? يعني زي لما واحد يبدي ااا عرفت بس تفكر في الكلمة اللي بتقولها. Right? Correct. Any other fillers? You see. Correct. عرفت كيف. عرفت كيف. احنا نقولوا عرفت كيف هم يقولوا you see. Okay. What else? There is one left. Only one, 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 uh, one filler left. What do you think? Can you find it? What about this one? Rush, what do you think? Do we say, can we say, and he's learning to play the drums? Do we have to say, and he's like learning to play the drums? And you're all like, which man who will help? And the keys, how do you have to feel here present continuous? He's learning to yeah. play the drums. So, في الحقيقة, like هذه تعتبر filler ما ليهاش معنى. هذه زي إحنا نما نقوله زي. مش إحنا نقوله كيف بالعربي نقوله زي. عرفت لما مشيت زلي زل زلي طلع لي من زنجة زي زي هيك. This is this is how they use it It's in the same way. It doesn't have a meaning. All right now, Salma, can you can you see sentence number three, Salma? Can you see this one, number three? Can you find any fillers? Any words? That we can remove. We removed kind of. Uh, uh, you see, like, do. these are examples of fillers. So which, where are the fillers in number three? What do you think, Salma? Uh, you know. You know, correct. Uh, There's another one. Um, correct. Listen. Yes. And that's um, just the way I liked, uh, I wanted. Correct. These are the fillers. Now, uh, and you know why uh, filler? Uh, the, and you know, but it's uh, it's not uh, it's not uh, an original part of the sentence. You know, the idea is and, uh, and that's just the way I want it. You know, how they talk about the clam actor. We are in the in the we are in the we are in the we are in آه زي انا عرفت ال عرفت هذه نقولوا الواحد اللي جاء معاه يعني كلام هذا كله اضافات في ال يعني يعني لما الشخص هذا حيكتب رساله في, ال في الرساله النصيه مش حنكتبوا ال ال مش مثلا مش حنكتبوا زي اللي عرفته صح ولا مش حنكتبوا هذا كله حنكتبوا كلام منسق يعني حيكون هذه آه فكره يعني لكن في السبوكن في اللانجويج سواء كانت اللغه عربي انجليزي اي لغه تصير الحاجة هاي يعني تطلع ان الشخص قاعد يفكر يدوي يفكر في نفس الوقت فيبدا مرات يلكلك يدور في الفكره بتاعته هذه هذه القصه كلها في الفيلرز اوكي سو اتس نوت ا فيري امبورتنت اتس نوت ا فيري امبورتنت توبيك بات اف يو سي اني بادي سبيكينج ان انجلش اون ذا تلفزيون فور اكزامبل اور اون ذا راديو وقعد وقعد تسمع فيه يقول كايند اوف لايك يو نو Uh, because I was late, you see, and after that, so these are just fillers, normal parts of language. All right, now let me take you to uh, a more interesting exercise. 
here in number nine, we have a little bit of speaking to do. So I want you to think of a few problems in your neighborhood. Write eight sentences with too much, too many, not enough, and use the phrases. Okay, so you don't have to use eight problems, but I want you to think of a few problems in your neighborhood. Now, we are going to practice the lesson that we studied last time, if you remember. Do you remember the lesson where we talked about Joe and uh, what's her husband's name? Can you remember the name? The, the mother is called was called Joe, but the husband, Martin. So we have Anna, Anna and Martin. Do you remember in this lesson when we learned how to use too many, too much, not enough, not old enough, enough energy, enough money, big enough, you know, how we used all of these examples. We want to use this again, but we want to use it to talk about the neighborhood. And we have some nice examples here, if you take a look. So there's too much traffic. There aren't enough places to park. These are two examples. But what about noise at night, trains, buses, pollution, rubbish, dogs, uh, late night bars, good schools, parks, sports centers, police. So here, what I want you to do is I want you to think of problems. Even if they're, they're not real, I just want you to imagine some of these problems. Does anybody have any problems that they can talk about? In their neighborhood using these sentences. Let's start with this one, for example. Let's choose an easy one, I think, because every Libyan city has this problem. Sophia, can you, can you tell us about a problem in your neighborhood related to rubbish? And here are the words you can use uh, to talk about it. You can use too much, you can use too many, if it's something that you want, you can use not enough. Okay, so tell us, Sophia, a little bit about rubbish. What do you think of the situation of rubbish in in your neighborhood or in your city? What do you think, Sophia? Okay, Sophia is not there. Um, okay, Samiha, let's start with Samiha. What about... Uh, I'm not you... understand what you talk about. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, okay. Mm, can you see this question, Sophia, number nine? Yes. Can you read it? What does it say? Think about the problems in your uh, right eight. Sentence with too much, too many, not enough. Yes. And and can you can you see uh, can you see the example here? We have two nice examples. We want to write something similar to this. Can you see it? There's too much traffic. There aren't enough places to park. Can you see it? Okay. So what, uh, what about rubbish? I'm just helping you here. You don't have to talk about yes. rubbish. You can talk about anyone. But but rubbish uh, is easier to talk about, I think. Okay, my, uh, I want to... Uh, I want to talk about the uh, noise at night. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yes, my neighbors, uh, it's uh, noisy at night uh, with uh, their children. Oh. It's very active. Okay. Yes. But, but, but how, can the, you, how can you use these three sentences to talk okay. about? You have to, yes. use, you have to use too many, not enough, or uh, too much? The children, uh, their children, it's uh, too too much active. Hmm. But can we say too much active? Is that correct? 
Yes, and not enough uh, quiet for uh, sleep. Okay, At but night, maybe. But how how do we use uh, too much and uh, not enough? We have to use. Can we use an adjective or do we have to use a noun? Uh, adjective, uh, adjective said. Uh, but but here, look at the example that we have traffic. Can you see traffic? Traffic is it an adjective or is it a noun? It's an uh, adjective. It's a noun. Traffic is a noun, and places is a noun. So this means if you want to use too much, you have to use a noun. So active is an adjective. Yes. So we cannot say too much active. You can say there is too much activity. Yes. In my neighbor's house at night. Yes. Or if you want to use as, uh, if you want to use active, uh, we can use two brohayan, just two. So I'm going to write your two examples. That yes. nice. There are nice examples, and I think many Libyan houses have the same problem you're talking about. So it's a it's a common problem. I think we should talk about. So let's write your original idea. There's too much noise and activity. illa there's there's too much there's too much activity. There's two, their children are too active. So this is a good problem. Okay. All right, Samiha, what about you? Can you think of any problems in your neighborhood? And maybe you can use not enough or maybe too many to talk about any of the problems you have. In your neighborhood, Samia. Mm -hmm. um, there is uh, enough place to uh, to buy. <laughs> is there enough or not enough? Enough. But so this is not a problem. This is a good thing, but we want to we want to talk about problems only. Okay, uh, there aren't uh, too many. Uh, Sport uh, centers. Mm, good, good example. There aren't, yeah. there aren't, to maybe enough is better. There aren't enough. There aren't enough sports centers. Okay. Can you think of another problem? Uh, about the rubbish. Uh, there is too much rubbish. Mm, there's. Too much rubbish. Okay, good example. Too much dogs. <laughs> and and to, do we say too much or what do we say? Too many, too many dogs. Yeah, but why? Why do we say too many? Uh, because it's countable. Yes, exactly right. Okay, um, Rashid, what about your neighborhood? Can you tell us some, some of the problems your neighborhood has? using too much, too many, or not enough. And you can talk about any of these items here. So you can talk about pollution, you can talk about places to park, you can talk about trains, maybe, I don't know, buses, uh, rubbish, rubbish, we already talked about it. Late night bars, I don't think we have that here in Libya. Parks, good schools, Tell us about anything, um, any problems you have in your neighborhood. Uh, okay, let's check Selma. What about you, Selma? Tell us, tell us about your problems in your neighborhood. And you can talk about any of these items. Something maybe that... Okay. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Uh, there's too much... Uh, noisy at night. Okay, so there's too much noise at night. Okay. What else? What about good schools and 
police and buses and maybe places to park. What about that? I think I don't have a lot of problems. Mm. Just the noise. But what about the parks? Do you, have, do you have enough parks in your neighborhood? No, I think there is, uh, there, uh, there aren't enough mm. parks. Mm, good point. So you can say there aren't enough parks in our neighborhood. Mm. What about good schools? I think it's not a problem. Mm, okay, so this means you've you've got How enough. Can I make you, it a problem? Yeah, if you don't have a problem with schools, then you can say we've got enough good schools. So it's not a problem, right? We've got enough good schools. If you want to talk about yeah. it as a, in a positive way, you can say there are enough good good schools. So this means you don't need any more, right? We've got enough good schools. Yeah. All right, so this is the idea, that's all. In this exercise, they just want us to uh, talk about some of the problems using too much, too many, and not enough. All right, so let's take a look at our next question. So work on your own, make a list of five things you would like to do to improve your city or town. Okay, let's let's think of this. Let's think of a few things to do to improve our city. Let's start with a few suggestions. So uh, let's start with Rashid. Rashid, are you there? Can you hear us? Let's see if you're there. Rashid, can you think of a few ways or maybe five things that you can do to improve your uh, city? So here it says, make a list. So we want to make a list of five things. You don't have to think of five things. Just think of one thing that maybe you think can improve your city, can improve Tripoli. Mm, what do you think? Something to improve the city. And, make, and the uh, parks. Uh -huh. What is it? Make uh, parks. Okay, so maybe, uh, I don't know if we can say make, can we say build, build parks, or can we say build or make, I don't know which verb to use, build. maybe build, grow or develop, maybe develop, I don't know, develop more parks. I don't know what verb to use. Okay, this is a good suggestion. Yeah. Mm, okay. What What do you think, Samiha? Something to. Something to uh, improve I... your city. I Sana. Hello. Hello, hello Saib. How are you today? Fine, thank you. Okay. So, Samiha, do you have any suggestions to improve your city? Something that you can do to make your city better. Any suggestions? No suggestions. Mm. Sophia, tell, tell us tell us something that you think can help develop your city. What should we do to improve it? Uh, uh, the built more. Uh... More away, or uh... what? What is something that we need in Tripoli? What do you think? Do we need Do we need more uh, shops, for example? Do we need uh, what? What do you feel we need most in Tripoli, or in Libya in general? What do you think? Build more uh, roads. Okay, so build more roads. Yes. Okay, 
Anything else? Because Just... a lot of traffic. True. But how, how can we solve the traffic? How can we, I mean, how can we improve it? Is there something you think we can do to make the traffic yes, better? Yes, more rules and more... Uh... Mm -hmm. Yes, but uh, yeah, more roads and more uh, bridges. And... Okay, build more roads and bridges. But uh, but what if roads and bridges? But what about uh, what about the traffic? Is there something else we can do to help with the traffic? What do you think? Real traffic, not uh, public traffic, not uh, own car every. Okay. Mm. What do you think, Saib? Something to improve uh, your city or your town? And you can talk about anything that you think your city needs. What do you think your city needs to make it better? Everything. Okay, uh, give, give us an example. Okay, mending build. The roads. Mm -hmm. Mending the roads. Mending the roads. Mm, okay, so mending or fixing. Or maybe we can say fixing the roads. All right. What else? Uh, build uh, a mall. Okay. More, uh, stores. Build a mall, okay, or a shopping center, okay. What else? Uh, we don't have any uh, any malls. Okay, so we need a mall, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Anything else? Shalat uh, al Traffic lights. Yeah, build more uh, traffic lights. Okay, build more traffic lights. Okay, that's good. What about I public? think in, uh -huh. in Tobruk we have uh, four traffic lights. That oh, four, four only? <laughs> yes. Uh, are, are they enough or not enough? No, not enough. Uh, okay. In Tripoli, we have a lot, but most of them, nobody, nobody, I mean, uses them. Respect nobody them. respects them. Uh -huh. What about Kharam al Matabad? Kill them at the bad. And to Matabad, Kulham. Okay, so maybe, maybe you can say uh, remove, remove speed bumps. Nagsuminari, yani. Right? Yes. So remove speed ramps. Ramps, speed ramps. Okay, these are good suggestions. Uh, what, what do you think, Samiha? What about your city? Do you have any suggestions maybe you think can improve your city? Um, something that you can do, that we can do to make it better? Can you think of anything? Or maybe, Sophia, can you think of anything to improve your city? You mentioned roads and bridges. I think are, that's a good suggestion. Can you think of anything else? And also... I think uh, tasks mm -hmm. may help. Sorry? The tasks of everything, I think, it may help. Or taxes. The or taxes, yes. Mm, okay. Tax the people. The people, yes. But, but do you think they will spend this tax money uh, wisely, or do you think they'll just steal it? But, uh, maybe steal. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it, uh, something make people better and make the city more better. Mm, okay, so it's a good suggestion. Tax the people. Our people are just afraid. <laughs> yeah, so they respect the law. But here, tax, do you mean tax uh, What do you mean? Because it's not the same. Uh, ah, different. If you're talking about 
Um, find uh, the people who break who break the the law. Okay, so mm, this is a good good point. Find the people the people who break the law. Okay, let's think of one last suggestion. What do you think, Selma? What about your city? Is there anything you would like um, in your city to improve it? Um, maybe build something or fix something. Is there anything in your city that you think uh, we need to develop maybe? What do you think? Mm, okay, so Sam is not there. All right, so this is a good enough list. So it talks about some, some things we can do to improve uh, the city. So now let me show you our next topic. So here we're gonna talk about invitations and arrangements, how to make invitations and how to make arrangements. So uh, here, I want you to tell our partners. Okay, we can skip this. Let's start with number two. In number two, I want you to look at the photos. And uh, after that, we're gonna do some listening. So here we have Juliet. Here we have Carol. And in the second photo, we can see Ben. And here we have Matt, all right? So now the question is, number one, when are Carol and Matt having people round for dinner? Can Juliet and Ben come for dinner? What do Matt and Ben arrange to do? But before we, before we talk about this, what does it mean when we say arrangement? Making arrangements. Who can, who can explain to me? What does this mean, making arrangements? Hmm. What do you think, uh, Samiha, making arrangements? What do you think it means? I think uh, mean about the, the plans and steps to do some events or... Hmm, that's actually correct. This is the meaning of arrangement. It's like a plan. It means, you know, you're, you're, you're trying to plan something. So you're taking it step by step to, to do it sometime in the future. That's correct. So in Arabic, what is it? Making arrangements. Okay. <laughs> You need to arrange your time. Or organize. You need to organize your time. Like an arrangement, a plan. Arrangements or plans, they're, they're close. It's uh, the same meaning almost. So I'm going to take you to the listening track. And we're going to listen to the conversation. And after that, we want to answer the questions, OK? So here are the questions, one, two, three. And uh, let's find out. OK, so intermediate. So this is track eight, CD3, track eight. Okay, here it is, CD3, track eight. Okay, so let's listen.
Track 8. 1. Juliet, is that you? Carol, wow, long time no see. Absolutely. What a coincidence. When did we last see each other? It was probably at that New Year's party, wasn't it? And that was nearly two years ago. Yes, that's right. And how are you and Matt? Oh, we're both fine, thanks. Matt's business is doing quite well, and I'm still at the same company. And how are things with you? Well, I'm working at the Station Hotel at the moment. I'm a receptionist there, but it's only part-time. Oh, right. Look, um, are you doing anything on Saturday? No, nothing special. Well, Matt and I are having a few friends round for dinner. Would you like to come? Oh, yes, I'd love to. Do you still live at the same place? Yes, we do. What time shall I come round? Oh, uh, about eight. And bring a friend if you like. Well, actually, I've just started going out with a guy from work. So, maybe, if he wants to come. That's interesting. What's his name? Harry. He's really nice. I'll let you know tomorrow if he can come. Great. I've still got the same mobile number, so just send me a text. I will. I'm really looking forward to it. Oh, by the way, do you remember Charlotte? Two. His name's Vince. We were at school together. He lives in California now. Wow. Lucky him. Oh, uh, by the way, would you like to come round for a meal on Saturday? Carol and I are having a few friends round for dinner. Oh, I'd love to, but I can't. Sorry, I'm going to London this weekend to see my brother. That's a shame. Look, why don't we go for a drink next week after work? Yes, that'd be great. OK, are you free on Tuesday evening? No, sorry. Carol's parents are coming round that evening. OK, what are you doing on Wednesday? Well, I have to go and see a customer in the afternoon, but I'm free in the evening. Great. Where shall we meet? Uh, let's meet at the Red Lion. Is that the pub on Market Road? Yes, that's right. Great. What time shall we meet? Uh, how about 6.30? Yeah, fine. Anyway, what time is this new band? Hmm, OK. Hmm, let's answer the first question. When are Carol and Matt having people round for dinner? Hmm, who can remember? They talked about the time and the day. Saturday. Saturday is Saturday, correct. Eight o'clock. Yes, eight o'clock Saturday. Right. Okay. Can can Juliet and Ben come for dinner? What do you think? Uh, ben can't uh, come for dinner. And Juliet mm -hmm. can. Juliet can come, but Ben can't. Yes. Why? Why can't Ben come? Can you remember why? Uh, he will go to London at this uh, weekend. Correct. W what's he going to do in London? Mm. Uh, maybe um, met her uh, as a brother. Oh. Yes, see his brother, right? He said, I'm seeing my brother or something. That's correct. What about um, Matt and Ben? What do they arrange to do? They also arranged something. What was it? Meet in uh, Wednesday, I think. They arranged to meet on Wednesday, correct? And where are they going? At 6.30, where are they going to meet? Can you remember? Mm, no. No? Mm. 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 What do you think, Simeh? About the, ask about the day. <coughs> not the day. The day is Wednesday, like Sohaib said, mm -hmm. but uh, the place, the location. Coffee, I think. Cafe? Mm. I can't remember, really. OK. Sophia, do you remember where they're going to meet? No. No. OK. Uh, place, uh, like, uh, like red, uh, red carpet. <laughs> red carpet? Can't remember. Something red, like it. Red, 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 red apple? Red apple? Maybe. 
Maybe it's name of coffee. Red, uh, red T-shirt. <laughs> okay, but you're, <coughs> excuse me, you're right. Red something is correct. Don't worry, we're, we're gonna find out again. But uh, before, we, before we listen again, before we listen, let, take a look at number three, exercise number three. Now, here in this box, there are actually six mistakes, okay? And the mistakes are not uh, spelling, they're not spelling mistakes, they're not grammar mistakes, but they're mistakes- uh, The story. In the, in the story, exactly, in the information mistakes in the information. So I want you to find six mistakes. So what's the first mistake, Senna? What do you think? Can you find the, the, the last, the first mistake, Senna? Rashid, what about uh, the first mistake? Can you find it? Or, or no mistakes? Do you think maybe they're, they're lying to us? Maybe no mistakes. Okay, so I, you can you can tell us mm -hmm. where's the first mistake. Carol last saw uh, Juliet at a party uh, nearly two years ago. Uh -huh. Not three. Not three. Okay, good. Hmm. What's the next mistake, Samia? Uh, You don't have to look for the next one. You can, you know, you can do it randomly. Anything that you find, any information that you think is is different from what we listen to, you yeah, can. I'm not very concentrated uh, with the first conversation. I'm better in the second. So uh, yeah. Ben can't come. Uh, come became uh, uh, because uh, he's going to London to see his uh, brother, not just. Correct. You're right. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's correct. Sophia, can you find any mistakes in the information here? Yes, I wasn't concentrated uh, on one and two because mm. my children is very noisy. Okay. Don't worry, we're gonna listen again. So to check the answer, so it's okay. So hi, any other mistakes? Uh, Matt and Ben arranged to meet uh after work on uh, Wednesday, not uh, Tuesday. Correct. That's number three. You're right. Okay. And 6.30, not uh, 7.30. Correct. Only two mistakes left. Hmm. I've been sure about restaurant. Correct. It's not a restaurant. Last mistake. Maybe Samia can, can find it. Can you find the last mistake? I'm going to help you. It's in the middle. The last mistake is in the middle. I think he... Uh, he isn't... Uh, he isn't his husband. Correct. Husband. Correct. He's not her husband. What is he? <laughs> I think brother, I, I don't know. Maybe brother. Mm. Okay, now I want you to listen again. So uh, Sophia and also Samiha, try to pay attention to both conversations and then let's, let's check. Let's see if all of these answers are right or not. Let's listen. Okay. Track eight, one. Juliet, is that you? Carol, wow, long time no see. Absolutely. What a coincidence. When did we last see each other? It was probably at that New Year's party, wasn't it? And that was nearly two years ago. Yes, that's right. And how are you and Matt? Oh, we're both fine, thanks. Matt's business is doing quite well, and I'm still at the same company. And how are things with you? Well, I'm working at the Station Hotel at the moment. I'm a receptionist there, but it's only part-time. Oh, right. 
look, um, are you doing anything on Saturday? No, nothing special. Well, Matt and I are having a few friends round for dinner. Would you like to come? Yes, I'd love to. Do you still live at the same place? Yes, we do. What time shall I come round? Oh, uh, about eight. And bring a friend if you like. Well, actually, I've just started going out with a guy from work. So, maybe, if he wants to come. That's interesting. What's his name? Harry. He's really nice. I'll let you know tomorrow if he can come. Great. I've still got the same mobile number, so just send me a text. I will. I'm really looking forward to it. Oh, by the way, do you remember Charlotte? Two. His name's Vince. We were at school together. He lives in California now. Wow. Lucky him. Oh, uh, by the way, would you like to come round for a meal on Saturday? Carol and I are having a few friends round for dinner. Oh, I'd love to, but I can't. Sorry, I'm going to London this weekend to see my brother. That's a shame. Look, why don't we go for a drink next week after work? Yes, that'd be great. OK, are you free on Tuesday evening? No, sorry. Carol's parents are coming round that evening. OK, what are you doing on Wednesday? Well... I have to go and see a customer in the afternoon, but I'm free in the evening. Great. Where shall we meet? Uh, uh, let's meet at the Red Lion. Is that the pub on Market Road? Yes, that's right. Great. What time shall we meet? Uh, how about 6.30? Yeah, fine. Anyway, what time is this new band? OK. What do you think of the answers? Did we find the, the right mistakes? Yes. Okay, so so I've answered this one. It's not three, it's two. Two. It's yeah. not her husband, but what? Part is... on the work, I think. Sorry? Her uh, partner at the uh, work. Someone at work, uh, maybe a new boyfriend or something. Friend or friend, friend or boyfriend, we don't know, but yes, not husband. Um, Ben is going to see his sister, is it? No, brother. Brother, brother correct. Um, they're meeting on Tuesday or? Wednesday. Wednesday. Wednesday, yes. They're meeting in a restaurant, not a restaurant, but where are they meeting? Pub. A pub. What's the name of the pub, Samia? Red Lion, maybe. Red Lion. Red Lion. Mm, okay. And what about the time? Six it... and a half. 6.30, half past 6. All right, very nice. So, uh, uh, instead, instead so, of a restaurant, what? Instead of a restaurant, a pub. Pub. A pub. Yes. So, not a restaurant, what but a pub. pub. Pub Pub is like a bar. It's like a bar. Uh, yes. But uh, yes, in, a, yes. in a pub, usually they have more uh, more food. Than a bar. Okay. Usually, usually um, a bar you can only yeah. non, there's no food. But in a pub you can order food, fish and chips, yes. chicken, hamburgers. There's more food. You don't have to drink. You can just eat if you want. If you don't want to drink in a pub. Yes. Okay. Now number four. Let's take a look. So here we want to learn about uh, making invitations and sorry, making arrangements and invitations, all right? So what we want to do is we want to match these uh, four items, these four headlines, A, B, C, D, and we want to match them, we want to match them to the, to the sentences, all right? So let's, let me show you what we have here. So A, asking about people's arrangements, B, Inviting someone to do something. C, saying yes or no. D, arranging a time and place. Okay. So number one, for example, are you doing anything on Saturday? This is A, this is asking about people's arrangements. Number two, would you like to come round for dinner? Inviting someone. Inviting someone. Something. Right. Okay. Let's try to be. Yes, I'd love to. Thank 
Yes, or no? yes. Yes. What time shall I come? What time shall I come round? Arranging a time and a place setting. Or asking, asking, asking about uh, people's arrangement. Yes. I'd love to, but I can't, sorry. Saying yes or no. Why don't we go for a drink next week? Asking about uh, people. Inviting. D. Inviting. Uh, inviting, yes. Are you sure? No, no, hey, asking about. Uh, Why don't we go for a drink next week? It's inviting. Hmm. Arrange. Uh, D. It's oh, actually arranging. arranging. Because you, you arranged a time and place. Mm -hmm, yes. So the time is maybe a bar or a pub and the place, uh, sorry, this is the place. Time, uh, the place is a bar or a pub and the time is next week. So this is a, an arrangement, right? Okay, yes, that would be great. See. Okay. Are you free on Tuesday evening? Hey. Uh, arrangement. Uh... It's A, you're asking, yeah. Uh, you're asking about people's arrangements. Yes. Number nine, what are you doing on Wednesday? A. Correct. D. Asking. No, you're asking, what are you doing on Wednesday? Number 10, what time shall we meet? D. D. D, D maybe. Okay, you're arranging a time. Uh, let's meet at the Red Lion. D. Now you're also you're also arranging a place. How about six thirty? D. Time or place. D. Yeah, again, time or place. All right. So these are some examples. The difference is, <coughs> you can see that with inviting. Would you like to come? What time? Why don't we go? You free? What are you doing? Where shall we? Yeah. So we only have one, which is B. It's a bit strange, but we can check the answers. Maybe we have a mistake. All right, but before we check them, let's answer th these questions. So uh, it says here, look at sentences number one and nine. What form do we use to ask about people's arrangements? <clears throat> Let's take a look. So we want to look at the verb form. So what do we use? What's the verb form we use to ask about people's arrangements? What's the verb form we used in number one and in number nine? What's this verb form? Present participle. Are you sure? Is yeah, it's the okay. It's the it's the ing form, present con continuous, or present uh, progressive. Why did you say present participle? Because of the ing. Did did you mean yeah. do you mean present continuous? My teacher in school uh, say uh, it's a uh, present participle, and I don't sure about that. Mm. I'm not sure either. I know that present continuous, a marat present progressive, uh, is a word that ends its form and is an adjective. Mm. It is a present participle, but uh, I think maybe this is a bit specific. But let me take a look. Was waving his hands for tents. You're right. Yes. Hmm. Uh, present participle, uh, Sahib. 
عمل بريزنت بارتيسيبل كلهم فيهم الاي ان جي صح؟ آه لكن فيها استعمالات ثانيه يعني يعني من غير الاستعمال هذا سو so ميبي هنا افضل نقول مجرد فيرب بلس اي ان جي وخلاص دي كتي ايديا بس بس صح كلام استاذك مش غلط كلامه صح الباست بريزنت بارتيسيبل فيهم ديما اي ان جي كلامه صح لان الباست بارتيسيبل اللي هما زي جون وبن و و دان العكس اللي هما اللي جو مع البريزنت بيرفكت هذوك باست بارتيسيبل سو اف وي ونت تو انسر ذس نمبر 1 which verb form do we use we use verb plus ing maybe uh, maybe uh, verb plus ing comma uh, come now uh, yes a gerund correct uh, in some situations not the uh, present participle y- yes and it's sometimes an adjective then the present participle might be just an adjective not short يعني يكون verb مرات يكون نون فيجي باكثر من شكل. Um, so for example you can say uh, the running water was annoying for example. Do you get the idea? The running water was annoying. Yes. No. So here the running water is uh, is actually uh, an adjective. The running water. المياه اللي تجي نصفه في المياه احنا. The running yes. water was annoying. Annoying at the present participle Tanya was annoying adjective. So we have two adjectives here. Um, so it depends. First, I'm going to tell you. All right. Now, number two, it says, look at sentence number two. Which verb form comes after would you like? So what's the verb? Two form? and infinitive. Exactly. Infinitive, infinitive with two. That's right. We use infinitive with two. All right, next question. It says, look at sentences 4, 6, 10, and 11. Let me see. 4, 6, 10, and 11. Which verb form comes after? Where, what time shall I? We, why don't we? So 4, 6, 10, and 11. So I'm just going to underline them. Four. Six, ten, and eleven. So, what's the verb form here in four, six, ten, and eleven? What did we use in these expressions? Did we use verb plus ing? Did we use infinitive with two? Infinitive. Or did we use only infinitive? Infinitive. Only infinitive. Yeah, just infinitive, right? Shall I come? Why don't we go? Where shall we meet? Let's meet. So we only use the infinitive. All right. So these were examples of how to use these verb forms and also how we divide different ways of uh, inviting people and making arrangements. Now, I just want to quickly check our answers to see if we answered all of them correctly. So let me take you to the page 146. Eight. 78. All right, 78. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. Can you see it? I think we had one mistake. Because uh, in we used, why don't we go for a drink next week? احنا درناها في الـ في الاسكينج صح وهي المفروض تكون في الانفايتينج هذه هذا الخطا الوحيد اللي عندنا can you see it everyone this one so this is yes. this is inviting احنا حطيناها في الاسكينج uh, the rest of them are correct so if you want to ask about someone's about people's arrangements you can say Are you doing anything on Saturday? Are you free Tuesday evening? What are you doing on Wednesday? This is all about asking. And then if you want to say yes or no, هذا جواب نا صح واضح فصل يعني yes or no, it's clear. If you want to invite someone, you can say, would you like to come round for a meal? Would you like to come round for a cup of coffee? 
why don't we go for a drink? Why don't we go for a snack? Why don't we go for a, a burger or something? Okay, arranging a time and place. What time shall I come? Where shall we meet? Let's meet at uh, the, the Red Lion. How about six All right, very nice. So just one mistake. So we use the verb plus ing. What are you doing? We use the infinitive with two. But would you like? When it's time an infinitive bis. After what time shall we? Why don't we? And let's. So we use the infinitive. All right, very good, very nice. So this means we can take a look at our next exercise. Let's take a look. Let's see. Um, okay, so we have an intonation exercise. Let's leave it and we can come back later. Uh, but let's see what forms are Okay. All right. So let me show you exercise number seven. What what we need to do. So we have to write. Okay. So this is our question. Let me explain the question. So in front of us we have. Kevin's diary. So this is Kevin's diary. Okay. So these are these are Kevin's arrangements. These are the things he's gonna do. Okay. So we have his arrangements right here. So it says, look at his diary for next week. What arrangements does he have? So, so on Monday, what is he doing on Monday? What's he doing on Monday, Samuel? What is Kevin doing on Monday from the diary? What do you think? What do you think, Sophia? What's what's Kevin doing on Monday from the diary here? He goes to the cinema. He's going to the cinema. Okay. Maybe with the, as a friend, maybe Bill. Maybe he's going with Bill. Yeah. Or maybe maybe he's meeting Bill after after going to the cinema, right? Yeah. Okay, we don't know. So maybe he's going to the cinema with Bill, and maybe he's meeting Bill after the cinema. Okay, what's it, what is he doing? What is he doing on Tuesday, Sam? What's he doing on Tuesday? Uh, meet. Uh, he's meet Fran. He's I meeting he's... Fran. Mm -hmm. Uh, at uh, one p uh, at one p.m. Okay, correct. And what's he doing on Wednesday? Uh, nothing. He's doing nothing. He's doing nothing on Wednesday. On Thursday, what's he doing on Thursday? Uh, he's playing tennis. He's playing tennis. And after tennis, what is he doing? Maybe he has a meeting. Maybe uh, at. Uh, uh, Six and uh, six thirty, or you can say half past uh, six. Maybe meeting uh, um, Eve at his, six. Yeah, maybe he's meeting Eve. He's meeting at Eve six at six thirty. Maybe uh, he and uh, he uh, playing uh, tennis. Yes, and, uh, playing. you're right. Maybe he's playing tennis with Eve at six thirty. Maybe right. Yeah. Mm. Okay. What about Saturday? What is what's he doing on Saturday? Uh, he has a party. Um, is it is it his party? No. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, maybe he go to the party. Maybe mm -hmm. for uh, his maybe. friend or maybe his <clears throat> family. So maybe he's going to a party at yeah. Ali's house, and maybe the party is going to be at Ali's house, right? Yeah. 
Uh, all right, so this is this is uh, Matt's. Uh, this is uh, sorry, Kevin's diary. So this is Kevin's diary. So in our next question, it says Matt phones Kevin to invite him to dinner. Work in pairs and write their conversation. Use sentences from number four and the notes. So let me explain what we're going to do together. So do you remember all the sentences that we used? But let me see if I can show them on both pages. Oops, we can't. We can show them, unfortunately. Okay, let me zoom back. Okay, so let me show you what we need to do. Um, we need to use these sentences. Can you see these sentences that we use here? Are you doing anything on Saturday? Da -da 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 -da. But maybe I can make this exercise easier. I'm going to screenshot uh, Kevin's uh, plans. This way you can easily see it next to the sentences. So this will make it much easier. Because we need to write a conversation now between Matt and Kevin. Because Matt is going to invite Kevin to a party, uh, to dinner, sorry. He's going to invite uh, Kevin to a dinner. So we need to, we need to mention um, when is Kevin free and when is he busy? Do you get the idea? So this is what we want to do. Uh, so I'm going to... Okay, so now this way. So let me open it. And this will make it a lot easier. Okay, let me change the share screen. Okay, so can you see the, the sentences? So let me show you what we're gonna do. So do you see these uh, 12 sentences? Yes. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to imagine a conversation between Matt and Kevin. And remember, the question said, uh, where's the question answer here? The question said, Iowa. Matt is going to invite uh, Kevin to Kevin for dinner. All right. So. Take a few minutes. I want you to think a little bit about. Uh, I want you to think a little bit about uh, this schedule, and then we want to imagine a conversation between a conversation between Matt and Kevin. Do you get the idea? Yes. So, so think about it about this for a minute. I'll just. Uh, I'll be back because my lights back. I need to plug in the fridge. Uh... I have yes. a question. Sure, Sam. What's your question? Uh, we make uh, the conversation with uh, these sentences. Yes. مثلا, Matt, I call him Kevin. I call uh, Are you doing anything on Monday? Question. Uh, yeah. I call okay. Yes. I'm going to the cinema with Bill. فهو بيقول له Oh I see فمثلا بيقترح Would you like to come round for Would you like to come round for dinner on Tuesday فهو بيقول له عندي كذا كذا مثلا Do you get the idea Yeah لأن مات يبي يعزم كيفن على شيء 
لكن تو لازم بيدور له وقت بيكون في حياته فاضي يعني. So this is the idea. Okay. So think a little bit about the conversation. Uh, I'll need a minute and I'll be right back. Okay. So just a second.
Okay, so let's try this conversation. So Selma, you can be Matt, who wants to invite uh, Kevin and uh, Suhaib. <clears throat> Suhaib, you can be uh, um, Suhaib, you can be Kevin. All right. So, okay, Selma, you can start. <clears throat> You can start with number one, I think it's good. Okay, are you doing anything here on uh, Saturday? Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. So hype, what do you think? She said, you, you are Kevin. Are you doing anything on Saturday? Okay, so I was not there. Okay, so Sophia, you can be, uh, you can be Kevin. So, uh, so uh, Selma wants to invite you, okay? Yes. And, and can you see this is your schedule? Can yes. you see this is your diary? So she said, are you doing anything on Saturday? Yes, uh, I have a party uh, at uh, Ali's house. Mm -hmm. So Selma, it means use another question. Uh, what are you doing on uh, Wednesday? Mm -hmm. Huh? Uh, what? I'm not uh, here. She said, she said, what are you doing on Wednesday? Uh, nothing. I'm free on Wednesday. Good. Okay. So now, Selma, you can make the invitation. Uh, would you like uh, to come uh, around uh, for a meal? Mm-hmm. Um, yes, I will try, but uh, uh, sh shall I ask uh, where around? Uh, yes, uh, you can say yes, I'd love to, but then you will be able to do it. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, yes, I would love to. Uh, where around the place or what? You, you can use number 10. Can you see question 10? Yes. Uh, where, sh well, uh, where, and what time shall uh, we meet? Mm -hmm. Okay, Sanma. Uh, how about six uh, thirty? That's good. Mm -hmm. What do you think, uh, Sophia? Uh, yes, uh, yes, that's be great. That would be great. Yeah, that would be yes, great. That that would be great. That would be, be great. Like in my protection can, Ms. Where is around? You can say, Where shall we meet? Where shall I meet? Shall we? Then you can take it like a man, huh? Well, where shall we meet? Yes. Where shall we meet? Let's meet at the Red Leon. Okay, let's meet maybe at the dinner. Yeah. So let's meet at my house. Excellent. Let's meet at my house. Excellent. Okay. Okay. I'll... Uh, but... You can say okay. Uh, see you. See you on Wednesday, Matarin. Right. Yeah. All right. So this is okay. just an just a. Yeah. This is just an example of how you can make. Uh, how you can invite someone, how you can make an arrangement. يعني الغرض هذا كله من الاكسسايز اللي هي قصة التعود على الترتيبات. إن الشخص بيسلك على الترتيباتك يعني. أمتى مشغول؟ أمتى متوفر؟ هي هذه الفكرة كلها. Okay. وضحت الصورة ولا قاعدة مش واضحة. Yes. Yeah, I think it's clear. Yes. This... Yeah. All right. Very nice. So now let's continue. Let's take a look at our next exercise. So here I want to play the CD. We have some listening. 
We're gonna listen to intonation. حركتوا شوية على قصة النغم هذا intonation. So it says, remember, we know if people are interested by how much their voices go up and down. What, what do they mean? More blood. Okay, who am I can more hadi magazine? Who are more polite? Ah, من ناحية more polite. Like in في حاجة أهم من polite مرة هذه شنية? What are they? What are they focusing on? Actor, actor, and polite. What is it, Sai? What do you think? Here, I'll show you. What does this say? Uh, excited uh, or not? Uh, yes, interested yes. or not? Exactly. So, for example, if you're telling your friend about something. And your friend is like, okay, yes. that, that sounds exactly nice. For uh, meeting. Congratulations for getting a new car. All right? <laughs> this means your friend is not interested. Your friend is not happy. Yes. Do you get the idea? But exactly. if, you're, if your friend says, wow, that's great news. Congratulations. I hope you enjoyed your vacation. Where did you go? Did you visit Italy? What about Rome? Did you go to Barcelona? I heard it's a great city. To get the idea. So this is intonation. The voice is going up and down. Do you get the idea? فهذه قصة الinterest. لو أنك بتبدي اهتمامك بتوري لي للمستمع أنك أنت مهتم. You need your voice to go up and down. You shouldn't speak in a flat way. No, 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 no. That's not good. It's not polite. زي ما قلت صحيح. أول حاجة وثاني حاجة it doesn't show you're interested okay هذه الفكرة now I'm going to play six sentences all right each sentence will be played twice one of them is interested one of them is is not interested do you get the idea مرات ال interested جيكم A مرات جيكم B all right do you get the idea so now let's listen and let's find out which person is more interested. Is it A or is it B? So let's do that. One, A. Are you doing anything on Saturday? B. Are you doing anything on Saturday? Two, A. Would you like to come round for a meal? B. Would you like to come round for a meal? Hmm. Which one is more interested, A or B? B. B. Correct. B. All right, let's listen to number three now. Three, A. Yes, I'd love to. B. Yes, I'd love to. A. Mm -hmm. A. A. That's correct. That's correct. Four. A. I'd love to, but I can't, sorry. B. I'd love to. But I can't. Sorry. B. B. That's right. Okay, number five. Five. A. Why don't we go for a drink next week? B. Why don't we go for a drink next week? B. Mm -hmm. B. That's right. And the last one, let's listen to number six. Six. A. Yes, that'd be great. B. Yes, that'd be great. A. A. Correct. يعني لاحظوا سهل ال إن ينضبطه موضوعهم بسيط جدا يبان. حتى في اللغة العربية يبان اللي خاطرة فيك واللي <تصفيق> مي ساير فيك وخلاص. So هذه فكرة الانتونيشن، okay? It's important to sound interested. 
All right, now our last topic for today. Either موضوع ممتع وبسيط. Let's do this one, pronunciation. So here we have three different long vowel sounds. So we have the uh sound, uh, and we have the ah, uh, ah, uh, and we have the aw, uh, aw. Uh. So three sounds. They're not, they, they look, maybe they sound, they're not similar, they're different. So the first sound is like an earth, er, er, the sound. And here it's the ah sound, cards, ah. And here it's the o oh sound, small, oh, record, talk. So these are three sounds. I'm going to play them for you. And I want you to listen carefully to these three long vowel sounds. So let me play them for you because after that, we want to match the sound with the word. So let's listen. Track 10. Oops. Are you doing anything on Saturday? Not 10, track 11. One. Uh. Earth. Journey. University. Two. Ah. Cards. Start. Calm. Three. Or. Small. Record. Talk. Okay, so these are the three sounds we have. One, two, three. Now, what we want to do is we want to decide which sound is in each word. Remember, don't don't focus on the spelling. spelling you have to try to say it. earth, journey, cards, start, small, record, talk, Three, three different sounds. So number one, it's a uh, work. Uh, what about this word? One, two, or three? What do you think? Two. Okay. Uh, two. What about this one? One, two, or three? Three. Okay. This one? There's the one. Okay. What about this? Two. Okay. Two. What about this one? One. Okay, what about this? Uh, one, two. Don't look at the spelling. You have to say war. it. War. Okay. War. Uh, war. Three, three, three. Uh, spelling is You have to say it. Before, before three. Uh, okay, before the Okay, what about the Kelmeli bad war? Two. Two. Card. Two. Okay, this one. One. Yeah, one. Sauna. Oh, my Gulush Ross sauna, Gulu sauna, sauna in English. Three. Three. This word? Three. Do we say car park or do we say car park or do we say car park? Car park. Two. Two. Okay. Drama two. Two. Uh, two. Yeah. One. Day one. Mm. Approach three. Uh, three. Dance two. 
four, three. Two. Two. One. One serves. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Which one? O or E? Together. O or E. E silent, yes. Well, R had the silent. Then I have to the low this. Two? Do you think it's two? I think three. Okay. Two. Two. One. One. Two. 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 هل نقولوا always ولا نقولوا ولا نقولوا ال ولا نقولوا always ولا نقولوا always always two هل نقولوا always ولا نقولوا always always okay let's check let's check let's listen to all of these I think most of them are correct I thought all of them to two one work Thursday Perfume Purple Birthday Emergency Services Shirt okay, very good. Two Art Cartoon Car Park Drama, dance, bar, garden, large, guitar, three, walk, before, war, sauna, Abroad. Fourth. Floor. Board. Always. All right, excellent. So all of them are correct. Why emergency uh, one? Emer uh, emergency. Mangalush mm. emergency. Mangalush emergency. Emer. القصة في الصوت يا صفية مش في السبلينج مشوفوش سبلينج yes yes يعني سبلينج متع الصوت متعها زي جاي زي الكلمات اللي هم جونا هنا في رقم واحد يعني زي emergency زي earth emergency journey emergency university uh, purple emergency it's the same sound alright yes yes all right, very nice. Okay, so let's divide this last exercise. So the first three, so if you can do the first, you can read the first three, and Sophia, you can read the last three examples. And let's see if your pronunciation is right or not. You can start, Sahib. One, I work for the emergency uh, services on Thursday. Okay. Thursday. Mm -hmm. We always walk uh, to the sauna on the fourth floor. Like in Homer, we sauna. Sauna. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say Italy, sauna. Like in Homer, we sauna. Okay. He likes art, uh, drama, uh, dance, cartoons, and uh, guitars. Nice. Okay, Sophia. طبعا ملحوظة واحدة بالصعيبة اللي هي work هي work. يدير فيها أقرب للـ air نفس صوت emergency air work work yes. خف شوية يعني خلطة بينها وبين الـ O وبين الـ E تخيل هيك أوكي صفية what about number four, five and six let's listen to your examples so can you read number four for us 
How do we say these words? Yes, I got perfume and purple shirt for my birthday. Okay. And mm -hmm. the bar near the car park has a large garden. Mm -hmm. He was bored when he lived abroad before the war. Yes, when he lived abroad before the war. Yes, when he lived abroad before the war. All right, excellent, great. So that's all for tonight. In, to, in our next lesson, we are going to read a little bit about collectors. And passive. I don't know if you know the passive. And it's an interesting topic. Uh, okay, and the passive. بالنسبة للتوقيت لو غيرنا التوقيت من الأربعة للستة هل يناسبكم is it suitable or not suitable from four to six صحيح is it okay for you or not okay four to six what do you think it's too early is it too too early it's okay it's okay Yes. O okay or too early? No, it's okay. It's okay. Sophia, what about you? From four to six? Uh, yes, okay. I don't know, but maybe okay. Maybe okay. Don't worry. I'll, I'll talk to each one of you. Yeah. I'll just see. لأن في فراغ في في الوقت هذاك أو ممكن أنسب في اللي ما يقدرش مثلا يحضر الوقت هذا يعني I'll see okay yeah. yeah all right so thank you for your time and we'll meet again good night on, good night on Tuesday bye bye thank you thank you. you're welcome bye